So in this video we're going back to basics. Now you're probably going to ask me why back to basics. Well, just like classical music or the building blocks for all genres of music so and ballet for all kinds of dances, so is drawing for art. But don't let me bore you with the boring details. Um, let's hop in and have some fun. My name is Althea Prinsler and I am a fine artist. I specialize in oil paintings, but um, we're going to do all sorts of art, fun art. So let me color your life in with colorful art and projects. So let's dive in today. Today's video is about getting back to basics. Um, so we're going to do a couple of drawing um, techniques, just your basic drawing techniques um, and then you can go and practice it for a week and after a week I will post the new video which is going to be um, diving into the masters. Um, I chose Henri, bon Henri Matisse, I'm sorry, not Monet, Matisse um, and we're going to learn a lot from him. Uh, so I am very very excited so let's hop right in and start drawing okay so like I said let's get back to basics um, this is a basic drawing set uh, my daughter actually gave this to me for Christmas um, it's a lovely set you can she bought it on Amazon um, so I will uh, put the link down below for this set it's even have charcoal in which we are going to use it's got your nice drawing it's got blending sticks in it you have two different erasers in here you have your gum eraser which I absolutely love and then you have more like this I haven't opened this one yet um, I will open it and then I will show you it's more like um, it's an artistic um, eraser but I will open it um, and show you how it works as well um, but yes, like I said, I do prefer working with the 2B. Where did I put the 2B now? Um, what did I do? Oh, there it is. So let's get started. Um, so the first thing that I think a lot of people um, think is you have to hold a pencil like this. If you're going to hold a pencil like this, you do limit your hand's movement. Um, so I will not hold my pencil like that, I'll rather hold it a little bit further back and have my hand move softly and slowly. Um, so I have movement, like you can use your whole wrist if you do this, instead of that you limit yourself and you're going to make hard lines if you do that. So if I hold my pencil like this and... Um, I just like I can flick my lines like that then I can create that kind of movement um, with my hand um, and that you're going to use a lot and your lines will actually be quite straight if you do that um, but let's look at drawing like a circle for instance um, I would I never like I would like make the movement with my hand like this and then just make like little lines like that going into a circle um, just make your lines soft and then what you can do is if you have your basic lines or your basic circle which you like those lines you can darken um, into a circle um, form like this never like try to draw draw like a circle with one movement Oh, that one is pretty accurate but um, normally it does not come out like that um, normally like it's a little bit skewed like that one more like ov ov 
an oval shape um, but if you do it like this um, you will get a much better um, circle form okay so this is a one thing um, I would n normally not like even if you draw like a tree or something I will not go down and just make the lines of the tree like that I would like really put some like drawing it like putting some effort into it because then you will get a much better shape in the end um, making your lines soft and working down to that um, and your lines are too fixed if you do this um, and it's much harder to erase um, and to oh, not with the gum but now I can like soften those lines and you can even use them for shading for instance that's one big thing that you're going to use in all your art forms is shading so let's say the the light is coming from this side of of the angle so this part is going to be so much lighter than this part and let's see say we put the ball on a table or on something so the light's going to be from here so your shading of your ball is going to be it's going to be much darker on this side um, than it is going to be on that side so you can use your one of these um, tools uh, which they call it um, a blending tool and make it like you can blend like that or you can just use your you're going to want to make this lighter because the light is on this side so you can you can definitely have a lighter perspective on that side um, and then your shading the other way you can do it is just shade it from this side and make it darker and then like you you see i don't i'm not doing this that's a way you can actually do um, shading as well and then taking it further away so you will see that where they're closer it is darker and as further you further away you go the lighter your shading would be I prefer holding my pencil like this and doing my shading like this it feels like I have more uh, control over it and making it much easier to go lighter so the closer you are the darker it's going to be and then further away you are going to go lighter your shading is definitely going to go lighter and you do follow the form of the shape um, and remember your like any shadow shadows is going to thin out so it's going to be much bigger closer to the object and smaller away from the object so if you want to use your this I, I'm not so crazy about this um, but it does make it softer like it will make your softer so a lot of people do love it um, I don't have anything against it um, it does help a lot like like there okay and now we're gonna have and we have to bring our shading from our ball in like this and soften it out and that's gonna make your ball look more 3d so that is a, 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 a big part for me is how do you how do you hold your pencil um, if you have that covered and then also is you have to practice your shading one very good thing that you can actually practice is your values color values what I would suggest if you if you do um, I'm just gonna erase this if you want to practice your values your, your of color um, and that's also going to help you with shading is um, you can ha draw a, a, like a, a scale for yourself like this 
and then you you can put it into blocks if you want to um, or just start very dark on this side and then every little block that you continue you go a little bit lighter it's a great exercise um, to do now I go a little bit lighter on this one and then this one is also going to be still much more lighter and then my next one I'm really going to make it light until you get to the point where you can where it's white oh sorry that's the thing just be careful with because if they black they tend to so you can always you you can clean it like this. I'd normally use it where you want to shade, so that part doesn't really bother you so much. But um, I don't really want. But I think you get the idea. So I mean, I can even put one here and make this one much darker than that one. And um, so you can see the different values in color as it fades out and this is a great um, a wonderful practice test if you want to practice um, shading um, we will get back to a lot of other stuff um, the other thing about drawing is finding shapes in everything um, if we look at nature everything has a shape in it so if you look at a tree um, you're basically going to have a cylinder I'm gonna go to the next page um, you are basically gonna have a cylinder in your trunk so your trunks gonna be a trunk is a basic cylinder going down like that um, so a, that would be a basic cylinder so your trunk is basically going to be a cylinder of your tree and then you're gonna go into depth in making it more um, if you look at a house, a house you have basically um, you have basically a cube. So you're gonna go draw your cube like that, and then you have a triangle on top like that. Um, I'm coming in there. Uh, what am I doing? Sorry. Ah. I made a mistake sorry so you're gonna basically have your um, your what am I doing yeah so what you basically have is you have different shapes and then as soon as you put the shading in um, then it's gonna start popping um, so in everything that you draw like even if you draw like an animal um, like a teddy bear you can go like I've got a circle here and then his tummy is going to be like an oval and his legs are more like a cylinder kind of um, thing so you can draw that in and then his little arms is also cylinders so you can do that um, and then after you have put your basic shapes down then you can start like really he's got like you can put like little circles here for his ears and then you can basically put everything together and um, just follow your lines your basic lines to eventually shape your teddy bear and then all the other lines you can base you are basically going to erase um, and put in your detail as you go so go look for shapes, like if you want to do a drawing of anything um, in nature or whatever, 
look for the for your different shapes so you have your basic shapes like you have your circle your uh, square your oval and that one looks more like an oval but in any case an oval um, you have your triangles um, and all of them oh and then obviously your rectangle um, what am I missing that's your basic shapes am I missing one but in any case all of them is going to be somewhere they're going to be in 3d um, form so they're not going to be like 2d like these ones they will definitely be more like a 3d kind of shape but um, if you can find shapes in in everything that you draw then you can put them together and eventually have like a very nice art piece so I want you to, this is what I want you to practice this week. So I do want you to practice finding shapes in everything um, and trying to build on your shapes and figuring out what, how they come together to form like this. You can take anything in your house, like a still life and put them together, like a flask or whatever. Um, put this just first like see if you can see the shapes and put the shapes together and then as soon as you put the shapes together like I did here with the teddy bear then you can actually um, focus more on on the outlines and giving your shape to that and the other thing I want you to practice is your values um, if you can if you can master values you can master shading um, and that would give your whole um, object more of a 3D look as well. Shading is amazing. Um, even if you do like people um, and they have wrinkles, um, if you do your, I would never like draw like a wrinkle in like that. You would use shading um, basically to shade out and then on this side you would and then make it softer but like I say you're not going to draw the exact wrinkle in um, you're going to do that by shading so I hope this was helpful for you um, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up I would really really appreciate it um, and yes uh, subscribe to my channel and I hope you enjoyed this so if you found that helpful and you enjoyed the lesson please give me a thumbs up um, leave some comments down below. You can ask me some questions. Um, send me some of your pictures. Um, so keep on send, you know, send me some pictures. I would love that. Um, and then there are a couple of books um, that is very cool um, that can actually help you a lot in drawing. I've got a book here, um, Sketching Masterclass by um, Rockport. Um, I found this very in in insightful and then there's how to draw what you see um, and there's another one um, let me think um, uh, you can draw in 30 days um, by Mark Kessler I hope I'm saying his na uh, name right I'm um, drawing for absolute beginners but I will give I will put all the links to the books um, down below um, as well, I'll put some links in there for you for good drawing pencils um, So you can just look at it um, But like I said, if you like it hit the, hit give me a thumbs up I would really appreciate it and I hope to see you on our next class um, Our next class is going to be we're going to deep dive We're going to dive deep uh, into um, one of the old masters and like I said, I'll begin with Matisse um, he has He's such a diverse artist that we will have a lot and lots of fun um, exploring all his art and doing some great and new art projects. So, see you next time. Bye. I almost forgot to tell you what you're going to need for next week's lesson. You're going to need acrylic paint, white, blue red yellow and black and oh we have a doggy here sorry about that and then we're gonna need um 
you're gonna need a thicker brush and a thinner brush and a, um, a board or you can use a canvas but it's not necessary you can use a board which would be able to absorb the paint um, if you have that oh and a pencil and an eraser yes so if you have that you're going to be ready for the next week's class okay see ya bye Thank you.